Today, we are taking a look and reacting to a bit of some older gameplay for Girls Frontline 2. I know the gameplay we are about to watch was released in October, but it completely slipped under my radar and well, now here we are. It's your boy Chaotic and for those who don't know why I don't play games like Girls Frontline, uh, Azure Lane, and Arknights, well, it's mostly because of the artistic direction of each of these games. I do not like when artists draw these amazingly interesting characters and simplify them into chibi characters on the battlefield. I want to be able to appreciate the way they look both on and off the battlefield and it seems like Girls Frontline 2 is making this possible while adding a turn-based strategy type of battle system which I am a fan of. If you enjoy this reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe to show support for the growth of this channel. Anyways, let's get it popping. Enjoy the reaction, everyone. I'm super excited for this, man. I'm really hoping they don't do the same thing they did with the last game. And they make it, like, super chibi. Oh, it looks good. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it's looking like they're. Oh, I don't know what any of that means. Oh, they're not chibi. They're... Let's go. Oh, man, I finally get to appreciate the character designs. Oh, I hope the gameplay is good, man, because this is this is going to. Oh. I know he's explaining like how the gameplay works. And since I don't speak Chinese, it's just going to be kind of hard to understand what's going on here. But the girl to the right has an SMG while the one in the middle has a sniper rifle. And I'm not sure what that last one is, probably an AR. And it shows you the enemies that are actually in range. Oh, those are different angles for the for the map. Oh, I like that. I like that. So at any time from the settings, you can actually change how you view the overall map. I'm guessing that symbol by the one on the right is is uh, the one that she can do the most damage to. Oh, this is cool. This this gives me like heavy uh, XCOM vibes. 100% accuracy rate from that. Oh, yes, yes, turn-based strategy. Is this on a mobile device? It kind of looks like it from the way the symbols work. But he's using a keyboard and mouse. You can see the mouse. Is this going to be cross-platform? I'm pretty sure they're like explaining every aspect of this. So that the people watching can understand how the gameplay works. Please re release this globally. Like, it'd be very, very nice to see this game come out in the US along with China. An AR. Dazed him. See, that's not a smart position because of the guy behind. She just moves over to the left just a little bit. It's 88%. 100% if she moves right there. 
Actually, I'd go for the 100%. Okay, cool. Dazed. Like, imagine, like, all the different characters that Girls Frontline and Azure Lane has in their game and being able to render them at this full 3D quality, like, oh, yes. Like, this is going to be, like, so legit. Okay, finish him off. Okay, I don't know what that one does. man it it looks satisfying to play some machine gun let's see I would figure out a way to get my character up on that top top right location Wait, is this a boss that just appeared? Oh my gosh, it's huge. Okay, so now you can use that. I wonder what the range on that boss is, because it looks like he might like be able to pretty much attack within that whole area. Oh, one tap. Oh, oh! The, the days just okay and it did damage to the boss too I, I wonder if he could only attack like once every few rounds okay yeah you want to put her up at the top so she can do sniper range across the the entire top landscape yeah She be she should be able to knock people out up there. Oh man, this is dope. I don't feel like both of them should be up there though. Cuz what's stopping the enemy from coming up now? Oh, that thing doesn't do that much damage. Of course they're going to be able to take this thing out because... They do more damage than the boss does. Okay, cool. So all the all the mobs are out of the way. They can focus on the boss. Look how much damage they do to that thing. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna love this. Oh my gosh. They just confirmed a PC client. <laughs> okay, on ground, she's only doing 80 something damage.
Oh, if you're standing on that outside area, you're gonna get hit by whatever she tossed in the air. Okay, and they just spawn some more mobs to take your attention away from the boss for a while. Okay, her sub is actually pretty nasty. Okay, the sub, okay, it's a submachine gun, so that's why it doesn't do so, um, so much damage at range. That makes sense. Look at how much health that takes out. Jeez. Three hundred and sixty-two. And then you still have You can still attack with her. That's gonna probably take him down just above half. So what's the point in even caring about the mobs if they're not moving or doing anything? Like you could literally just focus on the boss if they're not moving like you're seeing okay they are moving they just been taking them out too quick okay The boss has a lot of area to attack. Oh, now I'm starting to understand why you need to take those things out. There's a lot of them spawning. What I would do is I'd have someone focus on the boss while the other two took out um took out the mobs. Is that an attack that can attack all of them? Including the boss? It has that kind of range? Oh my gosh. All that damage she just did to the boss and then just dazed the boss? Oh, yeah, everybody attack the boss. Don't even care about the rest of the mobs. Everybody attack the boss. And that's 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 it. That's game. You might want to move her closer to the boss and she's just using a sub. Yeah, she would she it would have been smarter for her to get closer. Okay, here we go. It, it, the, the mobs are coming in now. Like, you gotta use all your moves, and like, now, take out that boss. That's right. Get a, get a little closer. Okay, that's... Okay, now use the, the one that's closest to finish it off. You don't even need to move, just attack. You don't need to move. What are you doing? <laughs> that's such a bad decision. The boss is almost dead.
What are you doing? Just attack the boss. Probably to show off the drop off, but uh, it's gonna die. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna love this freaking game. I really just want to play this. Look at those characters, man. Look at those characters. I'm already feeling the dark skinned waifu on the right, though. She's a sniper, too. Hey, that's my kind of waifu. Okay, these are where some of the photos came from that people have been uh been using all over the internet. Oh man, I really do want this game. I want this game as soon as possible. It just looks incredible. Like the battle system in this thing is is down my alley. There's a few things that I that I kind of kind of hope they touch up on, but I mean like this 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 actually looks really fun. If they just take the character designs turn it up just a little bit full 3d models so it doesn't feel like they're just dumbing down the way the character could possibly look and give us some fully interactive gameplay please don't add an auto button like leave the auto button out until you've defeated the, the round but yeah this is this is this is this is this is in the, in the right direction so far and this was in october oh yeah I'm ready for this. This is this is going to be sick. This is going to be sick.